So we've got a large position in, in stock exchanges, which we've had since inception of the fund. So over the past five plus years, we've owned Deutsche Börse as well as NASDAQ. And what we like about those businesses is that they're effectively monopolies or oligopolies, uh, providing a services within financial service, but, but they, they aren't highly geared vehicles. They, they have uh, businesses which generate very strong free cash flow and grow consistently over time, uh, redeploying that free cash flow in, into uh, growing their business. So, so we invested in NASDAQ and Deutsche Börse because we could see a valuation opportunity in those businesses. So when we bought into NASDAQ in 2011, it was trading on a P multiple of eight times versus the ASX and other global exchanges at 15 to 20 times. And we could see that the market was getting too scared about a small part of their business, uh, which whereas when you look at the, their entire business and the different sectors that they're in, they're, they've got a leading franchise being number one in equity derivatives with about 33% market share. They're mar number one in market technology, selling their technology to over 50 exchanges around the world. So we could see a business that was growing consistently, that had very high barriers to entry, but was being mispriced by the market. And, and, and we still think the, the business and, and the valuation is quite attractive today. So we've generally had about 10% of the portfolio invested in Asia X Japan. Uh, what we like about the region is that it's probably the fastest growing region for services and the consumer sector. And so we've tended to invest in, in businesses in technology, in healthcare and, and consumer. Um, currently we own a number of businesses across those industries. So we own Xiaoping, which is a leading online employment classifieds business in, in Asia. Uh, we, we own Auto Home, which is a leading auto advertising portal in China. And, and we also own a healthcare business called Shandong Weigao. Um, and, and all those businesses are benefiting from structural trends, but also uh, large po a large population in, in that region, which is still developing. Um, these, these businesses are growing at, at double digit rates, but the valuations are exceptionally attractive today and, and the valuations are a lot more attractive than you're finding in other parts of the world. We bought into Britvic, which is a soft drinks manufacturer in the UK after Brexit. Uh, as the market started to get a bit concerned about the region, we, we got the opportunity to buy this leading uh, drinks manufacturer at an attractive valuation. So Britvic effectively is, is one of the leaders in, in, in the UK. Uh, they, they own a number of brands like the Robinsons brand, which is a, a lemon squash brand. They own uh, Fruit Shoot, which is a fruit juice brand. And they're also the Pepsi bottler for PepsiCo in, in the UK and Ireland. And, and what we really like about Britvic is that they're building out this business. Uh, their, their brands are growing quite strongly. So Pepsi Max is actually the best performing um, soft drink in, in the UK. And, and, it's, and it's Pepsi's best market at the moment. It's taking market share um, and has done co so consistently over the past 10 years. Uh, but also not only are they doing well out of those, those Pepsi brands, but they're also growing their, their fruit juices and, and other products quite, quite well.